Hello everybody, um, long time no see and now we have visuals so there's a lot to catch up on but this is The Shrug. If you're on the podcast from Spotify, thank you for coming and if you're on YouTube, please check out the YouTube because I have visuals now so I have a full video of me with the podcast now and I'm super excited. I'm so excited to tell you guys like what is going down with me and what my plans are now because it's very, very different. So my name is May Beta. Um, I changed it because it was maybe if you knew me a little bit before then, but now I'm going by May Beta. If you didn't know, like my last name is Betancourt, but nobody ever knows how to say that shit. So I just shortened it to beta. I'll get into everything, but welcome to The Strug. This is my podcast. If you are new here, then this podcast is basically just anything I want it to be. Like, I've always wanted to make a podcast, and I have a few that I made before this one previously, but I've never had visual. So, now I have visual. Again, if you're not checking out my YouTube, please check it out. But if you're watching my YouTube, you'll see that it is me in the flesh. And I am super excited to tell you guys what is going on with me because I've been gone for a minute. So this podcast episode is going to be a life update and a future update or not a future update, but an update about the future. And yeah, so settle in. This is going to be a little bit of a long one. And again, please, if you are on Spotify, Please check out the YouTube because I have visuals now and it's pretty dope. So, so I've been gone for a minute. Um, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll just start off with, I guess I'll just start off with, I think the last time, I think the last thing I said was I was going to be going back to Miami and that's not happening anymore um if you knew me previously I was a tattoo apprentice um under the tattoo artist Chris Grumman and I have so much respect for that man he is the reason that I was even able to start even though we only knew each other for a few months, and that is its own thing. I, I mean, I won't really discuss that just because I feel like that is between us. Um, but I had started something, and I was living in Miami, and I'm, I'm going to make future videos about my chronicles in Miami because there's a reason I'm not going back. There's a reason I left the first time, and a lot of shit went down with me. A lot of fucking bullshit happened to me. I moved there when I was 18, and let's just say a lot happened, and I had to leave, and it was really hard, and then I had planned to go back. You know, I was going to, you know, basically force myself to go, and I'm the type of person to where if I started something, I need to finish it, but I was, it was, I had started saving money. You know, I was working, again, another two sets of jobs to save up money. I was working my ass off. You don't even fucking know. You don't even fucking know. I was working some shitty... That's a whole different story about the jobs I was taking to get more money to go back. And I did everything. Like, I had planned to go. I had saved up about three grand um, the second time around. Um, again, I'll get into the you, the... The, the the previous Miami Chronicles bef- later in other episodes. But when I was going to go back, literally I was supposed to go back April 3rd, I think. Because I had booked a flight. Um, I had saved, like I said, I saved about $3,000 in a f- like three months of working. Because I wasn't gone that long. Like I lived in Miami for about seven months and then I left and then I had come back home and I didn't really know what I was gonna do like I had a plan that just didn't end up happening and then I felt like the only thing I could do 
was go back to Miami because I had started something there and I didn't want to let it go. Um, and it was really hard for me to come to terms with that. Like I was busting my ass to get back there and I knew I didn't want to go back because Miami is just not for me. It is for a specific type of person. It is not for me at all. And that's okay. But I didn't want to accept that. I wanted to like push myself, force myself to do it because I wanted to prove to myself that I could. But in the end, it just wasn't. There were signs that were happening to me that made it made me aware that I should not go. But I had booked a flight for April 3rd and I had put a deposit down for a room in an apartment. Um, That's a whole again, a whole different story. So a little bit about that. I was going to live with like eight people because. I don't have, I'm, I'm a young little, a little, young little thing thing. So there's only so many options for me and I was willing to do it. Like I'm, I'm willing to go through struggle to get what I need to get. And it just was, it was going to happen. Like I was going to do it. And then I not worked, like I'd quit my jobs to get ready to go back to Miami. And this literally all of the new, all of this all of this happened within about two weeks of like what I decided to do with my life. But before that, before we get into that, I'm going to, like I said, finish my Miami shit. So booked a flight, put a deposit down for an apartment. And I told everybody that, I, that I'm friends with down there that I'm coming back because I was going to go back. And then the week before I was supposed to go, which was about... Well, now it was last week, I think, because today's the 15th. So two weeks ago, I was supposed to go. And a week before that, I was going to just take a break and get ready to go back. And I couldn't sleep at all. I have been exhausted before. Like, I have been overly tired, working multiple jobs, no sleep, <laughs> no sleep, club, another club. Like, I've been through that, and I'm, but I'm still, like, able to get up every day. I'm still able to get at least, like, four, four hours of sleep and not be exhausted like this. But the week before I went, my body would not go to sleep. I was up, like, three days. Just not, I had one hour of sleep within those like three days I had had probably like a total of three hours of sleep like one a day and I was exhausted like my body would not fucking shut down and then the days that like that would happen for a few days and then there was a cute a few days where I was only sleeping because my body was so fucking tired and I was so drained but I wasn't even working that week And I was like, this makes my body's like telling, like rejecting everything that's going on right now. And I I had a lot of shit in my head that I knew I didn't want to go. But I was like, there's no way I can go to Miami feeling like this. Like my body was so fucking heavy. Like it felt like bloated as fuck and uncomfortable. And I have never been that, like, I don't know how to explain it. It was just really fucking bad and I was definitely like shutting the fuck down and I don't I don't know how to explain it um but just a lot of signs were pointing to me to not go and ultimately I had to really sit down with myself and see what I wanted to do with my life I know Miami's not for me and I just didn't want to admit it because I just, I didn't realize how prideful I was as a person. Um, cause I just want to prove shit to myself that I can do it because I really genuinely think I can put anything, anything that I want to put my mind to, I can, I can fucking do. And I wanted to do it and I fucking did it when I was there. But then a lot of shit, bullshit went down to where I left. And then I wanted to I, prove to myself that I could finish what I started and not let it go you know I wanted to be able to say yeah I moved out of 18 I started the shit I conquered it you know met networked all this shit um down in Miami I guess I really just wanted 
the Miami label of it, but I don't give a fuck about Miami in reality. Like, there's a lot of qualities that I appreciate about it, but there's a lot of shit I fucking hate about it and a lot of shit that I don't want to deal with. Some of it being personal and... I'm a very open book if you if I can probably talk about it in a future um, podcast, but the the values of the city I just don't align with and uh, I just couldn't I couldn't go and I had to really think about what I want. So if you are first listening to this podcast, I am a I want to be a tattoo artist and I know I can do it. And part of me didn't want to not go back because I had an apprenticeship and I had made not a promise, but like a to my mentor, I felt like I didn't want to let him down. Like he he hold in my heart. I respect him so much that I would never want him to think I'm flaky or think I'm, you know, like this person who just used him and then left because he did teach me the foundations of tattooing even though we only worked with each other for like three months I learned a lot of shit and I don't want him to take me not going back as like oh I used you goodbye because that's not the type of person I am I was going to fucking force myself to go back because I wanted to keep my morals but at the end of the day like I was killing myself and a lot of ways to go back and I just have to do what's right for me at the end of the day. And I know he knows that. I know he will understand that. And I just want to do my own thing. So to get into a little bit more of an update now. So basically Miami's not fucking happening. Fuck you Miami. I'm sorry. Love, hate y'all. I'm actually born in Florida, so or was born in Florida, so I am technically a Floridian, but fuck y'all. Like, you guys can literally, no, gotta go. So, now my plan, I'm gonna get into that. If you're watching my YouTube, this is the first time I'm having visuals for my podcast. You already know. Um, like I said, I really just want to do my own thing, and I know I can fucking do it. So... This is what's going to happen. This is the lowdown on what's going to happen. So, I'm currently living with my um, mom. You know, like, that's that's my only family is my mom, my sister. And what I had decided to do is do it my own way. I'm going to currently tattoo in Virginia. So, that's where I'm currently located. Um, I'm going to do this for about a year if if you're getting a little vibe for me i'm i lived in miami for like seven months and then i left that pretty much is my life in a nutshell um i have moved almost every year since i was born and i think i've adopted that in my own personal life like i have never lived in a place longer than two years so staying in one place bothers me And I have to move. Like, it's just, I I constantly need to move. It makes me happy. I like new areas, spaces. But, yeah. So, I'm currently have almost everything ready to where I'm going to have my own clients now. And I'm going to post that video, too, um, on my YouTube channel. So, that's going to be some of my videos. My YouTube channel is also getting revamped. Um, This video is probably definitely hella scattered, but I'm just telling you a life update so hopefully you're following along if you're not i'm really sorry i definitely think i have adhd so bear with me um to i guess talk about my youtube and my career in a bigger or broader sense um i am going to continue to grow as a tattoo artist and i want to do that i want to show my personality i want to show what I have to offer not only artistically but everything like I said this podcast is going to be in continuing to be about any and everything I want it to be and to do that I feel like I need to be on my own to do that so 
the podcast. Now I have visuals. So this is going to be the setup. If you are watching on YouTube, this is going to be the setup. This is where we're going to meet up literally like every fucking week. So you better get comfortable. You better get used to this wallpaper because I mean, how could you not? It's dope. So I think you'll be fine, but this is going to be the setup and I'm super excited. Um, I have so many videos planned for my podcast. And like I said, my name, if you like I said, I'm not going by maybe anymore because that was something that was, I feel like I want to leave that in the past. And it didn't really like, I didn't really resonate with it, but my name is May. So I'm going by May Beta. So if you're, I'm going to introduce myself like we've never met before. Hey, my name is May Beta. I'm a tattoo artist, AKA just like a dope person. Hopefully if you, you know, if you rock with me, you know, so the reason I chose May Beta and I rebranded everything, I have a new logo. Um, if you're watching the YouTube, um, I created that edit for my intros and it says May Beta. I have a new Instagram. Um, so I'm really just doing everything kind of over again. And I'm excited and I'm so. It's gonna be fucking dope. I know it. I know it's gonna be fucking dope. And I just hope you guys stick along for the ride because. I I have a lot to say and I have a lot to show. So the intro may beta with my tattoo thing. My I have a new Instagram for my tattoos and I changed my like URL for my personal. Everything is getting done. Everything's getting new vamp. I'm creating a schedule for myself because I want to have podcasts every week. I want to have a, another type of YouTube video every week and I want to make it a broad just shit I'm interested in. Not only my tattoo stuff but other things like I want to be a full-fledged you know full-fledged bitch so um my YouTube is May Beta now um my Instagram is I'm gonna get into photography and I'm going to like really try to get like professional photos of myself like I have photo shoots planned and I'm doing a solo so again self-made it's gonna happen I have so that's my personal one. And then I have my tattoo page that I'm also making brand new, which is may.tattoos. So if you want to get an appointment with me, if you're located in the 757 area, um, I don't know if you guys saw, um, I tattoo 757 on me. Um, yes, I've lived in a lot of places, but I resonate with the 757 the most. So um, that's in Virginia. So if you're located in the 757, please hit me up for a tattoo appointment and I would love to give you a tattoo. Um, I'm still f need to figure out how I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, like tattoo and get my, pay my dues, you know, like tattooing people and tattoo, like getting in the rhythm of that being my main job. And I'm going to take you guys along the ride. Like, I'm going to post everything as well. Um, when I tattoo people, as long as they consent to it, I'm going to post all the tattoo sessions. I'm going to post the after results. I'm going to post that on my tattoo page. And what else? I think that's like the broad area. So new name, May Beta. Podcast every week. Both visual and for Spotify if you're listening on Spotify. But this is going to... I'd rather... I think... You're going to like the visual more because the wallpaper's dope. Like, I think it's just going to be a vibe. And a, when I start getting clients, a video for each session and other, like, YouTube videos that I just want to make that I feel like you guys would enjoy and that I'm interested in. So, yeah, that's, like, the life update. I know it was, like, definitely scatterbrained, but that's basically what's happening. And... I want to talk about my main goals that I think will give more like context into why I feel so confident about this. My main goal is to be a successful tattoo artist and I'm not trying to beat anybody. I don't really give a fuck about being better than anybody as a tattoo artist. I want to be better than me. My I am my biggest competition in a lot of ways. And I just want to be the best I can be. So I'm going to get clients. I'm going to start posting more and more and more to get clients and reach out to people that I already know that want tattoos from me here. And 
after some time has went by and everything's in the rhythm and I'm posting all the time and you guys can see it, I want to see where I'm at in about a year. I'm giving myself a year because if I'm honest, I really did love living on my own. Even though I was 18 and I'm about to turn 20, y'all, you don't even know. (laughs) It feels really weird. I feel five years old and 30 at the same time. I've lived a life, but then I also feel like I've not lived shit. So maybe that's just what your 20s are supposed to be. But I'm about to turn 20. (sighs) I have a lot of mixed emotions about it, but um, that's in four months, right? So in a year to like around this time if I have enough money um if I feel like I'm confident with my tattoo abilities and skills and I know I can fucking do that shit in a year I was able to like not escalate but learn very quickly and get better really quickly in a short ass amount of time like I learned the basics of tattooing with Chris, if you didn't know, um, my mentor, in this less than three months. Like, I learned how to do the basics. And I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm not. I don't think. I definitely don't know everything. Um, I'm still learning a lot. I'm still at the very baby steps of it. And I'm okay. I'm not ashamed to say that. It's all a process. And I'm excited to get better at tattooing. I'm excited to learn about color and... um educate myself i'll get into that in a little bit um before like i'll get into the 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 shit in a second i'm sorry i'm tongue-tied um yeah i learned really fast in a three span months time is that how you say that um so i know i'm fairly confident in a year i think my work is going to be pretty good Um, and in a few years and a few years and a few years, it's going to be fucking fired. Like I said, my, myself is my biggest competition and I only care about improving me. So in a year, if I have enough money saved, I want to move to DC. I, like I said, I really like living on my own. I like having my own freedom. It was just the town that I chose was not right for me, you know, and that's okay. But I am ready to be on my own. I was ready when I was 18. I'm ready when I'm about to be 20. I just have to get there and I have to plan. Because when I moved to Miami the first time, I saved up 10 grand in only a few months because I was busting my ass fucking working. So I know in a year, I could potentially save up even more money if I bust my ass as well. So I'm going to do that. And if I have enough money saved in a year, I'm going. I'm taking my ass to D.C. And I know I'm going to live it there. I used to live in like near D.C. in Manassas, Virginia. And I fucking loved it. That's still my favorite place I've lived in my entire life. Even more than Miami. Just because D.C. has so much shit I'm interested in. The main reason Miami was so fucking shitty for me is because I thought it was going to be way more artistic than it was. But there was not anything for me to do. But D.C. has like sculpture classes it has like pottery classes that you could take it has dance classes that you could take i'm a dancer you know i love to dance so it has a really big r&b like blues um culture and that's my favorite genre of music that's what i grew up on so that's what i want to be around and i resonate with i guess more upper east coast people than i thought i did i was presented that when I moved to Miami like everyone thought I was so fucking different and I really don't think I am I think I just am really upper east coast and I didn't know that um a lot of people when I was moving when I lived down there they thought I was fucking from New York and I'm like I'm not from New York I just you act like I'm not no I'm just from upper east coast and I click with people way more And I just didn't really click with anybody down there. And I also know I'm going to love it more. Like, D.C. has way more history. It has way more art. And I want to be around that. Being, your surroundings do matter. And I wanted to, I didn't want to admit that it does. 
but it does and I want to be in a city that I love and I want to do shit and I don't want to have to like you know like hide in my fucking house because I was when I lived in Miami I was literally just going after a while I was just going to my fucking studio um to practice tattooing and then going home I didn't do anything else I was done with fucking partying I had gotten a taste of it and I didn't fucking like it I don't give a fuck about clubs I don't they're for show and I don't fucking that's again I'll I'll make more videos like I said I have a bunch of videos that I have planned but for the Miami Chronicles episodes I'll get more into that but my goal is to move to DC in a year so I'm going to tattoo here for a year you know build up my clientele build up my YouTube channel build up my podcast build up my Instagram my TikTok all of that like I want to build it the fuck up and if I feel like I'm ready in a year, I'm going to go. I'm ready. I just need you guys to to rock with me so I can do so. So, um, yeah, that's basically the gist. So, uh, hopefully you like my setup. Hopefully you guys feel at home. Hopefully you guys will like who I am. Like, the haters, I don't really give a fuck about y'all. But I want to show who I am more in my social media. When I first started in Miami, I wasn't doing that. Like, I was almost afraid to. Not in the sense that I gave any care to people about what people thought about me. It's just, I guess I, again, I was afraid to be myself. Like, around certain people. But I just want to fucking be me. Like, I just want to I just want to do it, show it. I have a lot of opinions. I'm very conversational. I love having conversations. That's why I wanted to do podcasts in the beginning, in the first place. So, this podcast, as it was in the previous episodes, it's going to continue to be about any and everything I want. So, the episodes that I have planned, I'm going to do episodes on art because I am a tattoo artist. I want to talk about art in all different, you know, aspects and facets. Um, you know, art history, tattooing, um, color theory, because I am learning that now. Um, movies. And I want, yeah, I want to do like movie reviews because I love movie reviews. Book reviews, like I said before, I you know, I love reading books and it, it does enrich me in a lot of ways. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about my life, my my opinions on certain shit, advice that I want to give you guys because it does help. And it helps when you have somebody online who I feel like is relatable to you. And hopefully you guys can relate to me. I don't know. Like, like I said, I feel like I'm a pretty cool gal. So Hopefully you guys like what I have to offer and welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I'm saying that, but this is like a welcome back, but like new beginning. So yeah, I'm still um, figuring out a schedule about when I want to post like um, I'm filming right now. And what I plan to do is have at least two podcast episodes up every week. I'm going to select a specific day for when I want to um, upload them. So two podcasts a week and then at least one YouTube video until I get my um, like regular YouTube video. So two podcast YouTube videos also on Spotify and then one other type of topic YouTube channel or YouTube video. Sorry. And I will let you guys know what days I decide to post on my channels and have us actual fucking schedule that makes sense in my brain for it to flow and to exceed or what's the word project. I don't know. Have structure because I need structure. I'm a very structural person. I was, um, my family is very, or comes from the military. I have that background. I structure, I love it. It definitely make, benefits me. And now it's just, I need to discipline myself, which I'm capable of doing. 
so i'm gonna do that in the next video i will tell you guys the structure of my um weeks for uploading so yeah i feel like i've just rambled but welcome to my podcast this is the setup that's where you're gonna be every week um it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be a good time and also hopefully you guys follow my tattoo journey of becoming a tattoo artist because i don't want to claim that um title yet because i'm not there i've only tattooed myself so far and i've had success but i'm ready for clients now i've been tattooing for months and i'm ready to have clients um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this update and I'm, again, I'm sorry it was really rambly, but I just had to get it out of what I've been feeling and also all the updates I wanted to share. This has been The Strug. You know me now as May Beta. If you want to just call me May, I'm also cool with that. You don't have to use my last name in there as well, but this is May. Hey, May Beta. And this has been the update video of The Strug and the first video for visuals of my podcast. I'm so excited. You can find me on my new, well, one's not a new Instagram, which is my regular one, but I updated the name. So it's May on the Gram. My tattoo updates or my tattoo Instagram is May.tattoos. My TikTok is may tattoos no dots or anything and my youtube channel if you're listening to on spotify is may beta may space beta so just stay tuned um if you like to talk about shit or hear people talk shit you know come to the podcast or if you want to learn stuff i also talk about stuff that i feel like you can learn from as well so either way be here monday or tuesday thank you guys so much for listening to my bullshit and listening to my life update and where i want to go and where my life is going now so i will catch you guys in the next video the next podcast if you're on spotify and thank you so much i'll see y'all later